What are you doing? What's up? I slammed the books down. Um, I never make a video for sake of clicks. However, sometimes it amazes me that uh, I think like some of the really complex stuff, and I only get to the superficiality of the really complex stuff, confound some people so much that they just don't know what to make of it. But some of the videos that I make are... You know, I'm like stunned that people don't find them absolutely incredible. Um, by the way, I've got some uh, seed experiments, and I've actually done these before, and I've had other people replicate them. It's like, you know, do it yourself. Confirm it. It will be confirmed. And of course, everybody that does this experiment will confirm it. Um, by the way, these are alfalfa sprouts. These are uh, seeds that have undergone 20 minutes of North Pole exposure, and uh, uh, a magnet doesn't merely have poles. You can actually see this underneath the uh, supercell, and you can see it underneath the uh, magnetic viewing film. There's not just merely two poles, because either side of a magnet actually has uh, pressure zones or centripetal convergent. And there's centrifugal divergent, which is where the only true magnetism is. So I actually have to tape these seeds in a roll along the centrifugal edge, and then they could stay that way, just the dry seeds. They will be permanently altered in how they grow. And I'm going to show you uh, multi-day advancements up to, it usually takes about seven or eight days for alfalfa sprout seeds to come to fruition. Obviously, this is Mark Red for North Pole, and this is South Pole, and I've done these experiments before. People should find this incredible. And by the way, this one book is a suppressed work. These are by Rawls and Davis. They accidentally, they discovered this accidentally uh, due to uh, some worms in a styrofoam cup that were exposed. This one is actually a true suppressed book. It was incredibly hard for me to find this. This is actually a suppressed book. I actually thought, and this is no joke, remember Jack and the Beanstalk and the whole magic beans thing? I actually thought of starting a, a mini, mini business of selling magic seeds, if you will. There's no such thing as magic seeds, but I mean, effectively, they are like magic seeds. You can actually change whether a tomato is very acidic when it grows to fruition, or uh, uh, extremely low acidity. But then I, I realized that if I sold these magic seeds that are uh, simply undergoing magnetic exposure, there'd be some fruit loop out there that would like sue me saying that he, you know, I got cancer and it's because he ate fruit from my magic seeds. Or the FDA would uh, swoop in and, uh, you know, s dance on my skull. And those are real concerns, actually. So I said, screw it. People are way too litigious and uh, scummy. Um, people, generally speaking, are good, but among the general populace, there's, you know, a number of uh, knuckle-dragging uh, scum, if you will. So I dissuaded myself from doing that. <laughs> anyway, this is a magnetic blueprint of life. These are the two books by Roy's and Dave. Uh, excuse me, uh, Davis and Rawls, Rawls and Davis. Um, these, like I said, 20 minutes each of a seed exposure only. And now I'm going to grow these to fruition. Right now they're in the soaking period. This is a fact. Listen up closely and then I'm going to tell you this. And this is a really important video. There's nobody on YouTube making a video like that. I mean, talk about people growing stuff. Now, I am not... I hate the smell of the stuff burning, but there are people out in Colorado and California and other places that are growing things, as well as, you know, just general farmers. People that grow stuff, right? I mean, they could radically alter you know, the output of uh, what it is they're doing simply by uh, affecting uh, the, uh, the seeds with a strong uh, centrifugal divergent field. Literally, we're talking about magic seeds here. I've done this experiment before. What will happen on these, uh, now these are from the same uh, group, the, the, the North Pole exposed seeds, a third of them roughly will die. They will have stunted growth. And I, I crap you not, listen closely, look into my eye if I'm lying. The seed, uh, once they start to sprout and you can smell them, they will smell chemically. It, it's kind of a weird sort of, it, it's not a good smell. I mean, I've smelled regular good smelling alfalfa sprouts, and I've done this experiment over and over and over and over and over and over. Always the same results. Stunted growth, they smell bad, they taste bad. These, however, will have, instead of like 30% death on the seeds, these will have like, which is the average, which is actually less than the average, like 5% or less death on the seeds. They will grow faster. They will grow healthier. They will smell better. They actually smell just like regular normal alfalfa, 
alfalfa sprouts, but they grow very robustly and quickly, about 25% quicker than these do. And they taste excellent. They taste exactly like what a true alfalfa sprout would taste like, actually even a little bit better. These are the exact same seeds. 30% die off, they grow slow, they smell bad, they taste bad. Period. Not my damn opinion. I've had other people confirm, oh, you're full of crap. I said, well, do the experiment yourself, damn it. And they do it. It's like, oh, crap, you're right. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Okay? Now, Ross and Davis didn't understand pressure zones in the magnet. They would just simply expose the seeds or the seeds during growth to one side or the other. That's what you need to do because uh, there's only one true magnetic zone on either side of a magnet. And it's a centrifugal divergent edge, but that's a matter for another video, which I've actually already made. I said these will grow fast and healthy and strong, smell good and taste good. There are a billion things. I mean... This is actually due to the water molecule, which, by the way, is actually tattooed in my hand, which also, by the way, you see this triangle, this 108, 36, 36 triangle right here? That's actually not only the Pythagorean triangle, which it is. The 108, 36, 36, this is in triplicate, the Pythagorean triangle, the same triangle that actually makes up the pentagram. That is the uh, Pythagorean triangle. That is also the exact same geometry for the water molecule. So... The results of this are outstanding. Now, Rawls and Davis did a lot of experiments. They've actually discovered this accidentally from worms. I've actually got this book highlighted to hell and back. I've been through it quite a few times. They discovered accidentally when uh, they placed a styrofoam cup full of dirt and some earthworms uh, overnight near a North Pole magnet that the worms went bat crap crazy and they chewed their way out of the cup and they fell out the hole and died. Whereas, it's like, oh, something's going on here. And then they actually did the inverse and exposed the same worms, or well, a different set of worms, because those died, <laughs> to a South Pole uh, magnet. And the worms ate uh, got fatter, ate healthy, were doing everything but singing and dancing, you know. The North Pole worms in the styrofoam cup chewed their way out and committed suicide. Fact. The South Pole exposed worms were singing and dancing. <laughs> Essentially so. Um, this is as real as a goddamn heart attack. This is not a BS video. This is not hokum and crap and BS. This is, this is fact. This is a fact. There's a billion things that can be affected with magnetism. Growth and the water molecule, um, it's a uh, paramagnetic and diamagnetic nature and it's special geometry. I mean, pretty sure life has something to do with water and water and life are somehow connected, right? <laughs> And magnetism's uh, coherent point source effect is also highly effective of things that contain water, which is everything alive. Seeds, plants. I mean, they tested uh, chicken. These are going back uh, on the plates. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll show you uh, updates on these every couple days. Uh, the first one ought to be like two, two and a half days. It'll be like, oh my God, these have sprouted and they're amazing. And these are just kind of like, what the hell are they doing? Same seeds. Everything's the same. Done this test endless times. But I need some more pictures for my uh, science and energy conference lecture. So that's why I'm doing this again. I'm like, click, 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 look at this. <laughs> anyway, it is the guys, Rawls and Davis. This is truly, as people talk about suppressed books, blah, 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 suppressed. Like, yeah, shut the hell up. This actually is a suppressed book. Um... The FDA suppressed this book. It was out there for a very brief time. It's just about impossible to get a hold of. Not anymore, thanks to yours truly, meaning me. I won't talk about that. Um, but this is as real as it gets. If you want to talk about the practical side of understanding magnetism, I could give people, I should do this, I'm going to give them two packs of seeds, whatever it is, petunias, tomatoes, whatever the hell grows and you stick the crap in the dirt. It's like, here are two packs of seeds. Both seeds are, came from the same batch, but plant these over here and plant these over here. Treat them the same. It's like, wow, these, these grew up puny and sickly and slowly, and these over here grew up robust and big and huge and strong, and it's like, we treated them both as, that's... And I said, I actually thought about starting up a website and selling magic seeds. 
they're not really magic, they're just uh, magnetically affected seeds. But I'm for sure that some nut job would complain, talk about like irradiated seeds, or the FDA would swoop in on my ass. Um, but are those people out there that grow stuff, whether it be tomatoes or uh, uh, legally growing, you know, that uh, stinky smelling uh, ganja plant. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't do, I don't smoke or drink and I don't like the smell of that. But I mean, if you're growing and you're making money, I mean, my information actually can radically change the output or the fruition, literally the fruition of what it is you're uh, doing. Seriously. I mean seriously. This is an important video. So are the videos that I made on these seed experiments. These guys tested everything. They tested chicken embryos, seeds, worms, I mean all sorts of crap. They didn't understand magnetism. They talk about magnetism and uh, other things, and, but they, they don't really know what the hell's going I mean, they don't know what magnetism is, but they did a lot of uh, biological experiments. But I mean, that's all the reason I, I read this book and underlined it. Um, here we have here from their own statement, uh, after a lot of experiments, therefore we have two types of energy, one that arrests life eh, and uh, gr arrests growth and development, and one that increases life, increases growth and development. Um, the South Polar positive energy effects on the seeds show that they're advanced in quite noticeable cycles to the growth and development of the plants. Now. Anybody else out there is magic seed due to magnetism? Oh, you're so full of crap. Oh, no, girlfriend. I've done the experiments over and over and over. Serious and as real as a heart attack. Why is there no science show on this shit? Why is nobody talking about this? I'm pretty sure that, like, all the crap that you and I eat, you know, has something to do with growth and water. Interesting, the water molecule has interesting interactions with coherent, strong magnetic fields. We can drastically change the way something grows. And that doesn't include chemicals or other crap. I mean, the only natural rate of magnetism is not radiation. It is literally the uh, dielectric field. But I mean, this is, this is the pure, natural radiation, if you will, of nature. I mean, the entire visible universe of mass and magnitude is solely due to magnetism. We're not talking about spraying chemicals and DDT and other sorts of genetic manipulation crap here. We're talking about magnetic field. <laughs> um, why is nobody talking about this? I'm the only asshole on YouTube that's talking about this? What the hell is up with that? What the hell is up with that? That was almost rhetorical. But anyway, I will give you progress and make another video in a couple days on these, these uh, seed growth or alfalfa sprouts, by the way. And uh, I hope you like these videos. If you do, join my Patreon. Make a small donation below because I am not a shill or a schmuck selling anything like t-shirts and caps and all that crap. And I'm killing myself answering phone calls and emails. So any small donation you make would be greatly appreciated. Mm, yes, indeedy. If you need help on uh, making magic seeds, I'm only calling it magic because it's almost like magic, uh, let me know. Okay. Um, and yes, everything I said in this video is 100% real, factual, and verified over and over and over again. Period. Mic drop. Boom.